My name is Iris LaFlam, and I am an author, a certified spiritual life coach, and EFT practitioner. And I'm here today to make another EFT tapping video. Today, I wanted to do a tapping session on heartbreak and grief. I think heartbreak is one of the most painful and devastating experiences we can ever grow through. And EFT, the Emotional Freedom Technique, has helped me in so many ways, through so many situations. Um, heartbreak can be caused by anything uh, to do with change or a, a unmet expectation, whether that means the loss of someone, the loss of a relationship, or just the change in a relationship, or whatever the experience can be. Um, you know, it, it, and it doesn't have to be big. We can be heartbroken over something very small, and that's okay. So I don't want to talk too much about it. I'd like to just jump right into it. Um, I don't like scripting my EFT tapping sessions because I like to see what flows organically for myself and maybe for you. So whatever words I use may fit whatever you are experiencing. And if not, you are welcome to change it to whatever narrative works for you. So how about we just jump right into it and get going. Um, so first, I'm going to do a few things differently than I usually do with my tapping sessions because this is such a big topic. Um, I want to start by putting our hands on our hearts and taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, in and out. If your heart is hurting right now, just thank it for being here in the present moment allowing yourself to be open and thank yourself for giving this EFT session a try. Perhaps it will help. Whatever happens, it's something to learn from, always. All right, let's open our eyes. Before we begin tapping, let's rate on a scale of 1 to 10 the intensity of what we are feeling. You know, if we're heartbroken or grieving, um, is, it, is it on a scale of lower end of the scale or is it on a higher end? 1 to 10, how intense is this feeling right now? And I suggest writing it down so that you can remember it later. And we do this as a way to check in, see where we are before we start, and perhaps what happens as a result. Deep breath. And we start with our karate chop point right here. We tap. And we use our setup statement. Even though... I am heartbroken. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I am heartbroken, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I am heartbroken, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I'm going to take off my glasses. And we start at the eyebrow point. In the first few rounds, we're just going to talk about what we are experiencing. I'm going to recognize the current moment. I am heartbroken. 
side of the eye. I am heartbroken. Under the eye. I feel so devastated. Under the nose. This experience is so painful. New chin. I am heartbroken. I do not like this feeling. On your chest, you can either tap towards the middle of your collarbone, a bit to the side, or you can go up and down. Under the arm. I do not like this experience. Top of the head. I do not like what is happening. Back to the eye. I am heartbroken. Side of the eye. This is not what I thought was going to happen. Under the eye. I am hurt and devastated. Under the nose, I can feel it in my chest. I can feel it in my stomach, on the chin. I can feel it in my throat. Under the arm. These sensations are so intense, and I do not like them. Top of the head, I am heartbroken. Now in your own words, let's do a tapping round where you can say whatever it is that's going on with you right now. What are you feeling? Recognize and acknowledge it. Eyebrow point. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Under the nose, and don't forget to breathe. The chest, collarbone, Under the arm. Top of the head. Now for the next section of our rounds, we're going to do something a little different than we usually do in my videos. Oftentimes when we are experiencing this devastating heartbreak or grief, for whatever reason, thoughts, memories, flashbacks can come up. And it's really easy to get stuck in them. But I invite you now to take a breath. Maybe close your eyes as we tap. And imagine you're sitting in a movie theater. Perhaps you're eating popcorn. And on the screen before you, those memories are going to flash by. Simply try to observe them. It's okay if emotions come up. 
But just pretend you're an audience member getting to watch. And we're going to tap for a little bit as you sit in your theater and watch these thoughts and memories float by across the screen. Eyebrow point. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Under the nose. It's okay for these thoughts to come up. You're not experiencing them now. You're just watching them. The chin. Maybe some things are coming up that aren't completely connected to what happened to bring on your heartbreak right now. Collarbone. And that's okay. Just let them flash across the screen and breathe through it. Under the arm. Top of the head. As you watch these memories flash by on the screen before you, remember that you're safe. Those things aren't happening now, and it's okay that they did happen. The eyebrow. These memories aren't good or bad. They just are. Side of the eye. Just try to watch them with curiosity and compassion. Under the eye. Under the nose. The chin. Collarbone point. And under the arm. Top of the head. Take another deep breath. Mm. Maybe imagine yourself leaving the movie theater. If you can, picture yourself sitting at a table about to have a tea party. And at this tea party, there's going to be some guests. And we're going to welcome them. These guests are all of the emotions that we may or may not like or want to experience. But let's welcome them. And let's see who comes. Tap the eyebrow point. Hello, grief. Welcome. Side of the eye. Hello, sadness. Welcome. Under the eye. Hello, disappointment. Welcome. Under the nose. Hello, anger or rage. Welcome.
Hello to any physical pain. Hello to anything that doesn't have a name. Here now at the collarbone point. Under the arm. Hello and welcome. Top of the top of the head. Welcome to all these emotions. Eyebrow point. These emotions are neither good or bad. They mean me no harm. Side of the eye. It's okay to have these emotions. Under the eye. And it's okay to experience them. Under the nose. I welcome all of these feelings with compassion and an open mind. The chin. And I understand that these feelings are here for a reason. And it's okay. Collarbone point. I invite these emotions to tea and they will stay until they are finished or until I'm ready to say goodbye to them. Under the arm, I greet these feelings as I would greet a loving friend. Top of the head. This is an experience. And I can grow from this. And I can welcome love and healing to my tea table. We'll do one more round. Use whatever words feel right for you in the moment. Eyebrow point. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Under the nose. On the chin. Collarbone. under the arm. <sighs> Top of the head. We're on to our last few rounds. And you are doing such a wonderful job. Heartbreak is not an easy experience. And these emotions can be hard and scary. And that's okay. We don't have to be stuck in it. Eyebrow point. I know that everything happens for a reason. 
side of the eye and I can grow from it. Under the eye, the feelings I am experiencing are not going to be here forever. Perhaps I can say goodbye to some of those feelings now. I can let go of my expectations. And I can recognize that in this present moment, everything is okay. Under the arm, I am safe. Top of the head, I am worthy of love. Eyebrow point, I deserve happiness. Side of the eye, I can be loving and compassionate with myself as I experience whatever I need to experience to get through this. Under the eye, I don't have to do it perfectly. Under the nose, it's all about progress, not perfection. On the chin, I am letting go now of all that stands in the way, my health and growth. Collarbone. I am letting go now of everything I do not need in this moment. Under the arm. I am letting go of anything that stands in the way of my day. Top of the head. Right now, in this very moment, I am okay. Perhaps I can be better than okay. Now using your own words and whatever fits, let's do one more round of tapping. Eyebrow point. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Just remember to treat yourself with love, compassion, and understanding as you go through this. Under the nose. Under the chin. If these memories come back up, or these feelings come back up, you can be gentle with yourself. You can tap through these points again. Collarbone point. And you can take things one moment at a time. It doesn't have to be perfect. Under the arm.
on the top of the head. Perhaps you can find some peace and gratitude. And right now, in this moment, everything is okay. And you can continue to do things that are better than you feel. Every little effort is an achievement. Now, give yourself a big hug. And we'll say our closing statement three more times. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Another deep breath. Let's take a moment to check in. How are you feeling now on a scale of 1 to 10? Those feelings were intense at the beginning. Have they gone down after doing this tapping session? With the emotional freedom technique, I will say sometimes there is an immediate shift. Uh, there might be tears and a release of emotion. Uh, sometimes once I'm done with the session, I don't have to revisit it again for a long time, if at all. Um, other times it, it can take more effort throughout the day. Um, every little bit Every step counts. As long as I'm focused on that self-love and compassion. And when things get intense, I can tap through it again. Or even if they aren't intense and they're just coming up, I can tap through it to process it. Always remembering to bring in that love, compassion, and understanding. And regardless of your belief, um, if you are like me, you might want to bring God, higher power, universe, source, higher consciousness, inner wisdom, whatever that is, into the, the dialogue for yourself. Um, for me, I like to ask my higher power to align my heart and my mind with its will for me. I, I truly believe that a loving higher power has a plan for anything that happens in my life. And that plan is far greater than I could ever know. And I can find comfort that I am in the right place at the right moment, experiencing what I need to, and I'll learn from it and be able to use it in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I'll let you go. Please let me know if this was helpful um, please let me know if you are interested in any tapping sessions on any other topic or if you have any questions. Um, I'm also open for one-on-one -on -one conversations and uh, sessions. Uh, I, you know, my goal is to help people uh, the same way I have been helped. Uh, I have found so much healing through this and you deserve that too. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you can have a wonderful rest of your day.